Today, we're gonna to be recreating two keto favorites. The first being the famous keto pink drink from Starbucks. And to go along with that, we're gonna be making the Starbucks sous vide egg bites. Sarah and I have been on keto for two years and lost 160 pounds combined, but we honestly don't go to Starbucks that much. And when we do go to Starbucks, our orders are very basic. We'll usually get the egg bites, but we usually just get some iced coffee with some heavy whipping cream and some sweetener or no sweetener at all. Or we'll get like a nitro cold brew with heavy whipping cream. But so many people are posting on Instagram all these beautiful looking, really amazing looking drinks. So we thought we would drive to Starbucks, pick up one of the famous keto pink drinks, pick up a order of the sous vide egg bites. And we're also gonna take you um, to go to our mailbox. Actually, Sarah and I have a UPS box that we rented out and we got a notification that we actually have a package in there. I'm hoping it's not just junk mail, but if you guys wanna send us something, I don't know, hopefully something nice, not like hate mail or anything like that. We'll have the address to our, there's a nap. We'll have the address to our UPS box listed below. We got a package. So now we're gonna order the Starbucks stuff. We're gonna do, try to get the keto pink drink. I don't know, it's been selling out a lot of places and so now we gotta try to find it somewhere in this vicinity and the sous vide egg bites. All right, so I haven't ordered this before, but I'm just gonna do the iced passion tango tea. I'm not gonna be putting no water in there. I'm gonna be putting heavy cream, four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. That's the one I'm getting. Okay, yeah. Do it say no sugar? Can you put like in the notes keto pink there is drink? No, there is no notes. It's not there. You have to add the sweetener in there because it says zero carbohydrates, okay. zero things. So I added in four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Okay. And I have one scoop of strawberries. I, that's what you said it had, right? Yeah. And I ordered a nitro cold brew because that's another drink that I like. Okay, check out. So uh, it should be ready in 10 minutes. So we're going to head over to Starbucks to pick up our order. Hopefully they have it. We're back. We have the egg bites. These are the Gruyere and bacon egg bites. We've had these before, but we're going to make our egg bites and then try them side by side. These are, this is from I don't know who. So we're gonna open this up a bit later, but let's get started on our egg bites. All right, so here are our egg bites. They smell delicious. I've actually had these multiple times before. I was shocked to realize that they actually have nine net carbs for two of them, which is kind of a lot when you're trying to stay under 20 net carbs per day. I was always wondering, is there a way to remake these but make them a little bit lower on the carb count? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So uh, what makes these different is that these are actually sous vide, which means they're cooked in like something like a water bath and it makes them more creamy. I've actually made these egg bites before and just in the oven in a muffin tin and just regular baking at 325 and they don't come out with the same type of consistency. So today we're actually going to be making a batch in my Instant Pot and then we're also going to be doing another batch in the oven just in case you don't have an Instant Pot just to see how they're going to turn out and we're going to compare the texture between the both of them. So the recipe that we're going to be using today is actually from Flav City. Um, we love his channel and uh, you should definitely check it out if you're looking for like new keto or low carb recipes. We will link his recipe in the description below if you guys want the exact measurements you should check it out and uh, yeah we're just gonna get started so I have my eggs in here my gooier cheese in there <laughs> salt and pepper and we're gonna be putting this all into a blender and adding in some cream cheese um, and then we're going to actually be siphoning it off into our different containers um, in order to bake them I'm gonna be lightly um, oiling the inside of the silicone mold I'm not sure if it needs it but some recipes are calling for that I'm just gonna be coating the inside with a little bit of avocado oil just in case <laughs> Moving along to the muffin tin, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna oil it with a little bit of avocado oil, and then I'm gonna put in my egg mixture and top it with some bacon, and then we're gonna throw it in the oven and in the Instant Pot. Lowering them in. So I actually put a cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot, and I'm gonna put the lid on, I'm gonna turn it on to high for nine minutes, and then we're going to do the pressure release for five minutes, I believe. So um, I really don't use this Instant Pot all that much, so I'm glad I got to use it today. And it sings and stuff, so many things. Okay, for nine minutes on high pressure. This is the infamous keto pink drink. I'm going to try it now for the first time. It tastes like kind of like a melted strawberry milkshake or something. 
It's good. The way that she ordered it was the Passion Tango iced tea, a scoop of strawberry, like actual strawberry pieces, four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, which is kind of a lot, and heavy cream. So I did some digging. Um, Sarah has attempted to make this recipe before, but she said that it ended up turning out like a lava lamp and it was gross and she didn't even want to try it. This was a long time ago, right, Sarah? Yeah. I looked up a recipe by Wholesome Yum. Wholesome Yum has amazing keto recipes. You should check it out. We'll leave a link to the original recipe below. We are going to be kind of doubling this recipe. That means we're gonna be using four Tazo Passion tea bags and two cups of boiling water. We're gonna grab the egg bites out of the oven because they're done and the ones in the Instant Pot, it's like doing that slow releasing. Mm -hmm. I don't have an Instant Pot at home, so <laughs> I don't know much about it. Oh, they look like they're puffy. I don't know, Sarah, do you think that they're done? Yeah. Okay. Excited to try those. The rest of these ingredients are, we're gonna be using two tablespoons of this sugar-free vanilla by Tarani. I don't know, a couple tablespoons of frozen strawberries that I've kind of mashed down. The original recipe for the keto pink drink calls for one half cup of heavy whipping cream per pink drink. And to me, honestly, that's a lot. I know a lot of people are like, oh, add heavy whipping cream because it adds more fat to it. So it's better for you on keto. But Sarah and I really don't like follow those rules because if we're adding additional fat into our food just for the sake of it, then we're not going to be losing a lot of fat. Sarah and I really don't add fat to our food unless it's for flavor or unless it's to make us feel full. So what I'm going to be doing is using one half cup of heavy whipping cream and then the same amount of cashew Milk. And by kind of using half and half, that's going to cut down on the calories of it and the fat. I'm gonna add our ingredients into this shaker. And I just wanted to add, if you guys don't use that Tarani syrup, I know a lot of people do. I don't honestly prefer it a lot of the time. I don't know why some of these syrups, they taste very like artificial to me. So if, I, if you're not like into those types of syrups, you can always use something like a stevia sweetener. This is two tablespoons of the Tarani vanilla sweetener. So this is two cups of boiling hot water. I let four tea bags steep for about five minutes and I kind of like squeezed them out and threw them away. Be careful though, because those tea bags will stain anything that they touch. So this is how it looks. It looks really dark, really like bright pink. So I'm gonna add that to our heavy whipping cream, cashew milk and sweetener and um, just, you know, a couple tablespoons of those frozen strawberries. So the exciting part is it's already not looking like lava lamp, right Sarah? Yeah. So wherever Sarah did, she went wrong because it looked like like cream and then pink and she couldn't get the two to mix. And that sounds nasty, but this looks really good. Everything is done and we're gonna go taste these all now. We've got our keto pink drinks and the sous vide egg bites. Let's go try them. No better time than the present to open up our first mail that we've ever received at our UPS box. So this is from Love Good Fats and um, they reached out and said that they wanted to send us some of their bars to try. So we're really excited about this. They said that they're on a mission to bring good fats back into our diets and cut sugar out all in a delicious new bar so we can all eat and enjoy good fats. And we can agree with that. So if all of you wanna see what we think about these, why don't you head over to our Instagram, Keto Twins Official, and we'll put up some posts about it on there. Okay. So here's the color of the Starbucks one, and here's the color of ours. I think ours is darker. Yeah, for sure. I think that there's more heavy whipping cream though in the Starbucks. That might be the reason why it's lighter. So let's try it. It's delicious. Yes, it's very good. I don't believe that there's any caffeine in these drinks. No. So I don't know if that might turn some people off. I would definitely recommend this recipe. It's really, really yummy. We'll leave a link to the original recipe below, but I'll add what we added to it because we made it a little bit different. It's funny because um, as we pulled the sous vide ones out of the Instant Pot, they were like much paler, but as it's cooled, it's actually turned the same color as the other ones, which is interesting. It must be a scientific reason. Mm. So now let's the try color. the first, let's try the original. We're gonna try the Starbucks one first. So get that one. This is this one. It looks creamy on the inside. Mm. I feel like they add butter. It's very creamy. Yeah. Like unmistakably creamy. Let's try the, and I'm not an egg person. Me either. So I really like these, okay. Let's try the ones that we baked just in the oven. Okay. I mean, not bad. Definitely does not have the same consistency no. as the Starbucks one. The inside it's more is, spongy is more spongy, yeah. It has more of a spongy texture. The Starbucks one smells buttery to me, doesn't it? There's a, does butter smell like anything? 
Yeah. This is the sous vide instant pot one. That was uh, Bobby Parrish's recipe. More sous vide like than the, sure. muffin, than the muffin tin. I definitely put way too much bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to do that. Cause <laughs> this is pretty much bacon and very little egg, which I'm not complaining about, but it's kind of messing with the consistency. Well, how about your, how oh my God. <laughs> so no, 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 that's, this oh, is, yeah, okay. we have some um, consistency Cons issues. I think that we should have cooked it a little less. But again, this one is far creamier than the one that we cooked in the oven. Yeah. I would say cook it in the Instant Pot if you want to match the consistency of the Starbucks one. Mm -hmm. Definitely something easy. You can make these ahead of time, especially the one in the Muffin Tim. So why don't you guys let us know what you guys order at Starbucks. We're total Starbucks noobs. We get like- We're not Starbucks noobs. We just, we don't order complicated drinks. Because we're not, I'm like afraid that they're gonna be like, what are you even talking about? You know, I know that people are like, oh, they're great about it, but I guess I suffer from social anxiety. So when I get up to the thing, I go, iced coffee. Well, actually I ordered it on mobile. So it's right. kind of cool that you actually can just mm -hmm. put whatever you want and then they can make it and you don't have to like have that shame of like, you're gonna hate me for ordering this. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps push our content out to new people so they can enjoy it too. And if you wanna see other content from us, you can click on one of the videos on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins. twins. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah.